My BFI player choice this week was the surprise winner of the Palm Door at the 2007 Cannes Film Festival, an extraordinary portrait of illegal abortion in 80s Romania that equals Mike Lee's marvelous Vera Drake in laying bare the vicissitudes of denying a woman's right to choose. Christian Mungiu's four months, three weeks, and two days. <laughs> M-am ridicat și am plecat. Că voi ați venit la mine să vă ajut, nu eu am venit la voi. Păi, mi-e rău. Nu pot să cred ce se întâmplă. De ce te-ai apucat tu să-i spui că ești în luna a doua? Păi așa mi-a zis Ramona, că altfel se putea să nu vrea. Așa vrea. Păi cum n-ai bai putut să aștepți atâta, nu înțeleg. Și acum ce să fac? Anna Maria Marinka, who'd won a BAFTA for her role in Sex Traffic, is harrowingly convincing as Atelia, loyal friend of the unhappily pregnant Gabita, played by Laura Vasiliu, whose backstreet termination she organizes. Abuse, both financial and physical, follows as the women experience the sharp end of life under Ceausescu's stifling communist regime. Shot in lengthy takes with an absence of distracting or manipulative music, the film perfectly fulfills writer-director Munju's stated aim of conjuring a style which simply witnesses the action, ideally from the main character's perspective, and that doesn't transmit the author's message. Nowhere is this more evident than in the hellish dinner party scene in which Atelier is forced to endure interminable small talk as her friend lies bleeding, dying, in a dismal hotel room, a bravura 10-minute sequence that both horrifies and astonishes. Munji would go on to cement the promise of four months, three weeks, and two days with Beyond the Hills, a harrowing tale of perceived demonic possession in which the only forces of darkness are human, and in Graduation, which my observer colleague Wendy Eyde rightly hailed as an example of Romanian cinema at its best, a description that also applies to this heartbreaking, eye-opening masterpiece. 